political activists, but it's good for children. I've mashed up the whole of the Tate facade. Yeah. And I just thought, well, give it to me, I'm ready to go. Welcome to Asian Culture Vulture. I'm Suman Butcher. I'm here at the Tate Britain. And we're here to talk to Dr. Shaila Kumari Singh Berman, the artist behind this marvellous installation, Remembering a Brave New World. Yeah. So, Shaila, Dr. Shaila Kumari Berman, <laughs> it's so wonderful to see your work out here at the Tate. So, well, how long did it take you, this um, challenge? It took me six months. Ah. Six months in total. So, they invited me two weeks before COVID, so that would have been the second week in March. Yeah. And then I, I just uh, attacked it over the next, during the whole of the lockdown. Okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, went from pencil drawings to crayon drawings on A4, A3 sheets of paper for all the neons. Because I had in mind that I wanted to do neon because I've always wanted to do neon. Okay. And when I knew that it was possible because you have silicon neons, I thought, right, I'm ready for it. Fabulous. And uh, that's how Talk it all us panned through out. some of the bits of the installation. Yeah, this well, marvellous we've, we've Bengal this, tiger. Yes, marvellous Bengal tiger because, you know, my dad lived in Calcutta. Uh -huh. And uh, obviously um, that's probably got why he perhaps sort of the idea. And so originally on his ice cream van. Because okay. you know, actually, you know, my dad was an ice cream man. Yes, I do. And yes. uh, so that would really go on the van over there, which okay. is my dad's we ice should, cream van. We should go across to the van and yeah. have a close up and, look at uh, it. Yeah, and so it's quite important. And Come. also, apparently, Britannia killed the tiger. So I only, I only read about that recently. So oh. all the more reason I'm glad I did it. I've okay. got, I've got it slaying a tiger. Britannia? Yeah. Where? Who's up there? Uh, up and there. she's right, right high up. Yes, yeah, she's we'll have to look at her. her. We'll have to well, crane it's, our it's, necks and look at her it's, later it's, on. It's Scarly <laughs> on, it's Scarly on Britannia. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, the steps, there are and, some steps. Uh, and this is the marvellous so over here, ice I've cream got van. My, my dad's ice cream van, which is, um, it's a lovely van. I've got the, the wheels, there's like Catherine wheels. And um, and it's got you know it's got lots lots of away. I wanted to ha have it to have like some political statements in it. Mm -hmm. So we've got this statement which is, says um, we are here because you were there. And you know as someone knows it goes right back to the 80s. Yeah. We were we this is like kind of like an ongoing quote or slogan or set of words that. We it, it, and, and 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 it's still. I guess it now. explains immigration to this country in a way, doesn't it? In a very simple statement. Yeah. That's we are here because you were there. We are here because you were there, and yeah. it wraps it all up in a nutshell. You know, history in a few in a, in a quote. That's wonderful. And I just thought my dad would like this. My late dad would probably like to have this on it. Your, your dad, late dad, dad would love the seagull and this then, over here. And the steps are um, iPad paintings that I made on my iPad. So these and these have got like firework elements to it because because it's part. This opened up for the weekend of Diwali. Hence we've got the Lakshmi goddess over there, and she's um, she's goddess of, of Diwali, and we've got the Ganesh. Who, um, someone you said, um, so a remover of obstacles. Remover, remover of obstacles. He's a good luck, isn't it? People do it. You good start luck. something new, you have to have a Ganesh. And people puja. have it on the, yeah. on the front doors, don't they, yeah, when you go yeah. to their houses, whether yeah. they're uh, Western or Indian. So, this is kind of unashamedly part of your Asian background, your British background. Yeah. It's like a riot of colour, it hits yeah. us, it's funny, it's yeah, yeah. political. Feminist, it's political, activists, but it's good for children. I've mashed up the whole of the Tate facade. They gave it to me, and I said, well, you know, and they wanted, they actually wanted me to, 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 to turn the uh, Victorian classical kind of. Um, you know, yeah. architecture of it, yeah. and I just thought, well, give it to me, I'm ready to go. That's it. There and you that go. It. And it's very popular for taking selfies and stuff uh, like that, as we can so, see. I get 100 yeah. to 200 people come here every day. People take selfies, yeah. everything. People come here for, to heal themselves. If they're feeling depressed, they come here. Students come here because they want to get out of the house. 
families, all ages. I mean, it, it's become like a big sensational thing and people say it's quite profound because we've got the words that say remembering a brave new world. We've got an, an Aldous Huxley about remembering the past, thinking about today, hope for the future, a brave new world the new world that we are all entering into now. And also without us there is no Britain. And without us there is no Britain. And that's another political feminist statement from the 80s again, when, us all, when we all became black feminists uh, so in, in opposition to white feminism stuff that was... So do you like being referred to as a radical feminist artist? Well, I don't really like being re re referred to anything, but it's, if, 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 it's, if it's necessary to use, Okay. then why not, you know, because, um, and people said to me, how, how have you turned out to, where did you get all this from? Yeah. I usually say my mum and dad. Okay. Yeah, because my dad was quite really sound. Let me do what I want to do. I owe it to my mum and dad, actually. Yeah, my no, mum mom right. never took any crap. My dad didn't, told me to not to take any crap. And that's probably why I'm here. To yeah, certain no, extent. And then I've got all my feminist friends like Summon and all the Mukti Collective from the 80s because we were we were around doing a lot of like says political work in the 80s, you know. And we have made, you know, you in writing, me in in, in, in art and a theatre, you theatre, you know, we've actually we've actually um, empowered a lot of younger generation, the younger generation in the 20s, 30s and 40s artists to be what they are now. I know so many people are making prints, want to be printmakers, collage artists, and I know I've inspired them. They don't usually admit it, which is a bit poor, <laughs> but I know I have, I know I have. The funny thing is though, I seem to be, without showing off, a little bit one step ahead, because I'm a bit bored with my digital printing, and they're doing it now, and now I'm onto neon. And I don't know how that yeah. happens. So what's the next for me after neon? Where oh, do we go? Oh, well, well, I don't know. This is just it. <laughs> I, I don't know what happens in the studio. You've been to my studio. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know this was even going to happen. But I, I don't That's know. great. I know. Who knows? I might be making a movie. <laughs> Why, well, you've made movies before, anyway. Well, I know, I know yes, yeah, yes. I've made Dada yeah. and Punjabi Princess and some others. But we should go and also have a look at your yeah. tuk-tuk, basically, mm. inside. OK, yeah, yeah let's okay, do that's that good. Then. Yeah, that would be great. Why have you got a tuk-tuk when you what? were into vans? <laughs> oh, well, this used to sell ice cream from it. We used to sell gold food from it in a restaurant. Really? The guy, the guy, the, the guy who the guy bought it up from him, he, 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 he contacted me because he wanted to use some of my, my artwork on it. Okay. So hence we've got this on the front. Right. So he, he bought the rights to some of my work. So that's why we've got this, this area. So it was, this was like, Partly me, partly him, and he was selling coffee in a restaurant in up and down the country. Okay, so it's now your tuk-tuk yeah. with your artwork in the front here. Yeah. I see. And then you decorated the rest of it, basically. Yes, and then yeah. I put, you know, the seat over here. Okay. Harry. So we've got the seat with all these, like, shisha. shisha yeah, yeah, shisha. glass work, bead work. And, yeah. um, and all the flooring work. And then... I wanted people to, to actually be compare inside, can actually look inside. So I wanted people to actually. I'm going to move these ropes further in. Uh, yeah, and um, I just collect lots of things. Wanted people to, you know, enjoy having a peep inside there. And how long did it take you to put all the tuk tuk together? Um, it's been ongoing actually. And then I got this tiger from the charity shop, Tiger again, and this gorgeous umbrella. Um, I don't know, it took me over, it's taken me like since the, the Science Museum days, that was... Two years ago, 2017. Yeah, yeah. and then I worked on it again in, 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 in situ here uh, over two days. Uh, well, I finished it in a day, but I, 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 I collected the material in the, on the Sunday. Also, what's interesting is I did all this as well, the orange and the, and the, and the green, to link it up to the, to the leading that's outside. So we made the link between what, what's happening outside with the facade and here. I didn't want to feel like this was like two artists 
that made sense. And then around the side here, we have um, over here, we've got um, this is um, this is the art. Where have you gone, Harry? So this was some of the ideas that I made for the 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 facade. This is this here is some of the working drawings and then I thought it would be fun to put it on the side so this is like an added addition to what was on before because obviously I'm, I'm, I'm developing it as time goes along and I didn't really like want to just like leave this lying around the studio mm -hmm. I thought why not put it on here and it resonates with what's happening outside so you've got a lot of influences from different plays. I feel yes. like you'll collect, and you can collect in influences. Film in here. And then we've got Gandhi Ji saying, um, be the change you want to see in the world. That's all Gandhi Ji. So there we go. Political statements again. And my brother, my brother who's two years younger than me, he's done the music for it. And it comes from underneath the tuk tuk because sometimes in India, some of the guys and girls, some maybe who do drive tuk tuks now, have music coming from their, you know, radios or something, you know, the Ghana Guni, you know? Yeah. So this is it great. Doubled, yeah. It's been a great experience, Shaila, to have you talk about your work well, for Asian I've Culture loved Vulture. It. Yes. To an old mate, she gets me. Yeah. So it's cool, yeah. And it's all happening in the, it's, it's tr tremendous. Um, the Tate, which is, you know, the one of the most um, celebrated um, public galleries in the whole world. So we'll be decolonising the Tate through your work. Decolonising the Tate, exactly. Yes, yeah. Well, I must say thank you very much for talking to Asian Culture yeah. Vulture. And your work is going to be out at the, uh, at the Tate outside till the end of Jan, right? End of Feb. End of Feb.